Hello guys and welcome to my next hobby vlog. Now I uh, finished my Arena Rex minis. Uh, I still need to put the sand on them but they are near enough done so I thought I'd move on to my next project which I believe I said was going to be the um, the Brewers team here and I have started them as you can see in front of you. Um, I hand painted them black again using the Imperial Primer as it worked really nice for the Arena Rex model so I thought I'd try it again see if it was a fluke or if it's Genuinely, the way I think I might start doing models that I want to spend a bit of time painting on. And as you can see here, uh, started on the blue for their tartan tunics. Now, I thought I'd do blue because it's A, the colour I've got the most paints of, and B, the colour I'm actually quite happy or I was happier with the blue from Arena Rex, so I thought I'd do that. And also, this team's very rarely, I don't think I've seen a team in blue yet for it, so I thought it'd be a little bit original. So, I have painted them blue, just letting it dry now. Uh, then I'm going to ink it. Then, so uh, base coat was Mordian blue. Going to ink it with Azurman blue, the wash. <coughs> then, a layer of Teclis, wash, Lothan, wash, and pick out stuff with, uh, what was that name again? Baroth blue. I'm never going to remember that. Um, so yeah, we'll come back once the wash has gone on and dried and I've put the next layer of techless blue on. But uh, these guys, uh, they're resin, not metal. So I'm quite happy to paint them up because I'm actually enjoying painting resin a little bit more because it doesn't chip as easily. So much, much happier with that. And yeah, we'll come back once the blue is done. Okay guys, so I am back and the blue has been put on the minis so hopefully as you can see it's getting much brighter from that very dark blue previously I will ink this now uh, to get the uh, dark blue back in the recesses and as this one was techless blue I will move then up into Lothan blue and we'll come back after that we're up and done and we're back after about 20 minutes. Oh, a lie, that's a lie. That's a, that's a terrible lie. That's about half an hour. Um, and I have done the next layer, the Lothurn blue. And as you can see here, it is a much, much brighter blue, which once again will need to be toned down with the Azurman blue wash. I'm really, really happy with the blues on these. Um, go for a closer look. It's looking really cool. Um, and we'll come back once the wash is dry, and I'll probably do one final highlight with Lothurn blue again, just to pick out little bits. And then I think for the stitching, I'm not sure if I'm going to leave it dark or use the uh, like the real bright highlight to do that. Well, I shall make a decision once it's all painted, but we'll come back once they've been inked. Right, the ink has dried, so I have finished the blue. Um, I've decided to leave the uh, stitching there as dark because it is a nice contrast against it, and I'm not going to do tartan because I am not confident doing it, and I'm happy with the blue as it is. So that will be left as that. It's got a little bit of ink left to dry, which you can see there. Um, but yeah, really happy with how these miniatures have turned out. So far, anyway. And next, I'll be going on to the skin. But uh, a quick little shot over them all there. And yeah, we'll come back. Uh, the skin I'm going to do in the exact same way as the Arena Rex videos. So if you want to see how I do my skin, go check them out. And uh, we'll come back when the skin is complete. We're back. It's uh, day two of painting the Guildball Brewers team. And the flesh is now done, on the most part. I think I just need to wait a little bit to, uh, for his ink to dry. But we're all done for flesh. Next up, we're going to be painting pants. And we're going to do it in... I've been umming and ahhing about what colour to do. I think I'm going to go for Gothor Brown, Agrax Earthshade Wash. And then I'll do Gothor Brown again. And 
belts will be done in a dark colour, uh, I'm thinking Doombull Brown, with Agrax Earthshade Wash Doombull Brown again. And we'll come back when that is done. <clears throat> so guys, I'm back, and I've come down with a horrible cold. Um, I have pretty much finished these models now. <coughs> and um, all that's left to do is their facial hair, really. So you can see how Dave here, he's got his moustache that he's doing. And Dapper and Hooper need their facial hair doing as well. I thought I'd give a little shout out to the Battle Hammer here, whose token I've been using as a bit of a paint palette. Um, <coughs> oh, goodness. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this hobby vlog, guys. Next up, I'm going to be doing some Lord of the Rings miniatures. I am... Um, I think a Glorfin, not Glorfindel, what's his name? Gildor in Glorian is going to be next. I fancy painting that model. Um, but as ever, guys, be sure to comment, like, share, and subscribe. <coughs> oh. Support your Hobbit hosts by clicking the links below. <coughs> and happy strategy battle gaming, guys.